Hello, and I'm really excited to release Easy Animator Pro version 1.4 to you. This is the most substantial update I've done so far. And one thing I really tried to do was make it easier to create a lot of animations with as few of clicks as possible. And I've done that in a number of different ways. Um, now, before I launch into this, um, you'll notice that the version is up here, Easy Animator Pro version 1.4. Now there's also going to be Easy Animator, and really that's a light version. It's a free version. It's just designed to get more people, let them let their people get their feet wet with Easy Animator, um, and um, hopefully get us more users so that we have uh, more people using this and helping each other come with tips and so forth. Hopefully with preset ideas, which I'll show you here in a second. And that's really the this the, one of the top features in Easy Animator now uh, that I that I like, that I use the most, is the presets feature. And what that d allows me to do is, here I'm gonna go ahead and do this, I'll show you. I can uh, group select everything and I'm gonna remove that and I'm gonna go ahead and I can group select all of these and import images all at once. Uh, notice that they're kind of right in the nice uh, right spot and everything, I don't have to size anything, that's a new thing with these Anabits. Uh, Anabits are animation templates, just the pieces. And now what I can do is I can come in here and I can go ahead and click on the preset and apply it. And all of the different tabs and all the different states have an animation set already. And I can go ahead and fine tune that as I'll show you here in a second. But um, before, what I, had, what I had to do is I had to click on each image and click on all the different states in pause and out and, and apply settings. So the presets allow you to quickly come up with some, you know, there's 18 different presets to begin with. I'll be adding more. Um, if you have ideas for good presets, please post them on the Facebook page for Easy Animator. Uh, now, here, what I can do with this is I can go ahead and I'm going to uh, close that by clicking on the pause uh, tab again or the button again. And what I can do is I can come in here and you can see that I've doubled the number of animations here. And when I created these animations, I did them based on things that I needed, things that I wanted to do. I created about 2,500 animations. <laughs> yes, 2,500 animations with Easy Animator. Um, and there, these, all these different things were things that I really actually needed. Okay, instead of just coming up with stuff that, you know, just looking at the competition and sort of stealing their ideas, I basically was like making a bunch of animations and uh, these are the kinds of things that, that came up. I would, you know, get this kind of idea. For example, I'm looking, looking at this idea right here and I know that the target is, let's, let's, let's come over this. So these two are animating the same way and it makes it look like they're the same image. And so in order to make it a little bit more interesting, I want one of those to be reversed. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna click on, I know that it's a ring uh, animation, so I'm familiar with that animation enough to know that. And so what I can do is I can go ahead and reverse it. And so now they're, they're kind of going opposite, it makes it a little bit more interesting. Similarly, uh, this right over here, the envelopes, I kind of want them to kind of like, you know, bounce, you know, in this way, like they're, they're moving to suggest like, you know, uh, that there's the sound that's coming from this. So I'm going to shrink this down because I happen to know what I'm about to do is make it you know, kind of go off the stage there. And I, I think that that is um, this one. And I'm just going to confirm it by clicking on glitch. And sure enough, it's that's what it is. And so I'm going to come back to the median there. And actually what I want to do is I'm going to have that, you know, go to the top right. And so they're kind of, so they get this motion. It just has that kind of a suggestion that this is, um, you know, that they're uh, coming from here. And, you know, it, it, it just kind of fits the animation a little bit better. Uh, and if you don't agree, you can do something else. But the point is that, uh, you know, I started with something where it already kind of had a, a lot of, you know, perfectly good animation and I with a few clicks I can fine-tune it to whatever I like now um, I wanted to show you a few more uh, features here there is a randomized feature here and so you can come up with random ideas and sometimes this can be, can be really fun and sometimes it can be very funky but you know that's uh, that is there for you so you can you know have some fun with that also uh, if I say I wanted to have uh, something where I only wanted to have the in-between animation I didn't want an in and out so that's now easy when I can go, go ahead and go on the in or out tab and turn all off. And now I have just the animation in the middle. And of course, if I want to reverse that, I can turn them back all on. And then the other, this all pause none is allows me to take the middle animation and go ahead and set that to all of them at once to being none. So just I only have an in, a pause, and then an out. So these are nice little shortcuts that allow you to do 
um, make multiple settings uh, all at one time. Now, uh, these are also like that. So what this is, is let's say I wanted to have um, uh, all these uh, everything kind of whirl in at once, for example. So I can click on the I.O. and that's going to be both for in and out. And I can click on whirl in and a different direction and I can even do rotate or whatever I want to do. And notice that it applies to all images. And then I can go back to select and I can go to each tab and I can change them if I want to so that I get you know the same animation but it, with only a few clicks I've, I've made it more interesting by having having them all you know in and out and, and I, I, what I, I should have done is I should have done state there uh, but here I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing select it I'll do that and then I'll come here and do that and uh, whatever so I can make you know it more interesting um, and so forth so the state what that does is it does it just for the out or just for the in or just for the pause all of those different settings uh, so um, down here we have a new feature called speed export and what that does is it exports everything to three different animation types one with in pause and out one with only pause and one with in static and out and so that create if you're trying to create a lot of bulk uh, animations for creating a bonus or a product or so forth, uh, you can use the speed export to expedite that. And there's more underlay animations. There's a new toss in animation. Um, I think I already mentioned that. Um, and that's a, the bulk of what's new in Easy Animator. Uh, but more is coming. I, I have majority of the code is ready for uh, two more in animations that will be coming soon. And uh, then we are working on giving you the ability to save your own presets. And by the way, on the presets, you can specify to only have them apply to only the in state or only the pause state or only the out state as well, or even just to this specific image. And so um, that's uh, those are options for you as well. So um, I hope you have a lot of fun with Easy Animator Pro. I think you'll find that it is now easy to create really cool animations at only a few clicks of a button.